you can see it's showing that 950xl and hey guys welcome back to another new video so in this video i'm going to up update my phone uh, Lumia 625 to Windows 10 so this is not supported by Windows 10 but there is some developer who did something they have a tutorial to update this phone to Windows 10 uh, so this phone is running now on Windows uh, 8.1 let me show you the information about this so as you see uh, it's running on 8.1 update so if your phone this will work on most of the phone which has windows 8.1 update and uh, the worst version should be 14.2.9 3.4.1 less than that it will not work so if your phone is less than that then you have to update it so then you can follow this process so as you can see so and also you might have the charge as you can see i have 94 percent charge because it will take time then um, let's jump into the tutorial this is an uh, offline uh, way of doing uh, updating your phone so let's jump into the tutorial so as you can see here i have a lumia offline update zip so the link of this update file will be description below so this actually i i got from somewhere else and i combine all those files so this is the page actually for the tutorial is given so it's written by um hikari uh, hikari likes and uh, by prasant too so thank thank to those people and you will get the file of the link individual file link here so you can read this go through this thing actually it's very necessary this is uh, I put this file uh, this all this in a PDF file so you can go there just open the PDF file you will get the all links and other things so these are the individual file if you don't want to download this individual file you can find this file into the Lumia offline update zip where I have combined all those files so first of all let's uh, extract that so if you extract this file you will get four files actually so one of them is a PDF file which is uh, the all this instruction you will find there and also link individual link and there is a windows device recovery tool so you have to uh, install it otherwise your phone may not connect to your laptop then you have to open your win 10 mobile offline update so before that you go to your file manager go to your c drive then you have to create a file, uh, folder uh, name as you can see w10m so i have already done it so you have to write w10m and uh, now go to your files where you have extracted so as you can see i have extracted in my for uh, on my desktop so go to here go and open the file just open it open so as you can see there are variety of selection so to get the proper version for your phone you have to check the pdf file so as you can see uh, let me show you here here are the folder to choose folder as you can see so mine is uh, lumia 625 as you can see 625 it's on second generation and 480 by 800 so i need to select the folder is which is written on uh, 480 by 800 and others it's here so if you are using others another phone another model phone you can use this tutorial to check the folder as you can see second generation and 480 by 800 and then just click it extract and go to the folder where is your c drive you make the local disk c and windows channel so i have already done it just go ok and it will paste it here after that just close the thing and now you have to uh, unpack this file so you go again extract it to the file and same destination like the old one so see and here you will get w10m okay so extract it in there after that what you have to do is go here and you will find that there is a folder called uh, itool 
so you will not find this file there so you have to copy those or cut those file and paste it here and delete the itool folder so keep all this file here then go you will go to the uh, next part so now as you can see uh, our extractor ex uh, our extraction is done so now we can uh, connect our phone to our pc so the command line or the version i said so the, let me show you which version of uh, phone you can update so here is the So the version is here as you can see check which version about this phone must be 8.10 and 14.2.19 or 3.41 if lower than that that it, it will not work. So be careful about that. So if you are not updated your phone just update it and try again. Now you can type cmd and run it as administration. This process will take a long time. So be patient for this thing actually so now write cd c apostrophe slash slash w10m okay as you can see we are in the w10m right now so now we have to type i tool or i u tool so not i u tool space dash l so it will detect your phone as you can see Lumia 625 so if your phone not detecting in your PC that means you haven't installed Windows Recovery Tool so you must need to install Windows Recovery Tool after that you have to type this command prompt so iu tool slash uh, or not slash dash uh, capital P then dash P and again you have to type the your destination file where you copied your file that means the C drive so win 10 M and my folder is 420 480 into 800 as you know you have a specific folder this folder will not be same so it's according to your phone please check and do it now enter now as you can see it's uh, flushing the firmware uh, after some time you will find that uh, in your updater if you open your phone if you go to the updater app setting the file is transferring now so if I go to phone update My phone is freezed now. I, I don't. I don't know why. So now the file is transferring. Still, the, the file is transferring. Don't worry if your phone freeze or do anything like that. Just don't worry about that. It will do it. The your phone must not restart. That's the main point. So if I go now again to my phone update click on that after a few after a few minutes you will find that there will be started uh, as you can see the installation is started right now as you can see, let me show you so this installation process will take long time be patient and wait wait for the ending so if you don't have the right version of windows 8.1 it will uh, go through this thing and eventually it will fail but if your phone is uh, on the right version of Windows 8.1 it will update your phone so now we have to wait for I think 10 to 20 minutes to update the phone let's wait 2000 years later so as you can see the phone is now restarting so it will take uh, some time to um, do its installation process it will take more than 20 minutes I think so we have to wait for that please please don't be panic just wait and see oh 
also some of them after this update may have some keyboard problem so there is a solution for that i don't know my phone will have this problem or not so i will check if i have this problem i will show you how to solve the solution problem and if i don't have this problem then you have to check the website and you have to do it yourself it's really simple it's same as this flushing method so you have to just put the file and flush it the same way and the command also same so now let's wait and see how long it's take two thousand years later so hey guys so as you saw that uh, i was installing windows 10 on my lumia 625 and it has done actually so i have to stop the recording of the video because it was taking too long and i took uh, maybe two hours and more so after that i have done so many things on my phone actually so if i go to my about section now so if i go about section uh, i have as you can see it's showing that 950xl and installer ram is 512 and it's windows 10 mobile this is the latest version of windows 10 mobile uh, for this phone or 950xl I, I don't know so i i had to change the model number to get the update how i did it i did it with interpo tool actually so i will give a tutorial of interpo tool from someone else i have where i have learned that one so as you can see i have interpo tool here so to get updated if you don't update your phone then it may not work properly because the driver issue and other things so you need to install interpotal so as you can see i have interpotal installed and the video of the interpotal how you can change your model number uh, you will find in the description below and the also file you will find there so no need to worry about that so how many times i have updated so after the first build of windows 10 i have updated my phone five times and to come to the latest build and it's running quite well but the problem is that it this phone got only 512 gig or ram so it's slowing down very fast and i can't really use that much because it's too slow if i open grow apps you see loading app uh, loading so my opinion of this phone if you really want to install on 512 gig of ram i will say don't install it it will uh, it will be very uh, bad experience but it's but you can use every apps and everything so as you can see i have installed some of the apps telegram working fine emo messenger working fine then i i have installed one browser and as you can see my tube and uh, i have deleted most of the application which is unnecessary because the phone is slowing down and it's now it's working fine actually not that bad but still if you have 512 gig of ram i will say don't update if you have one gig or two gig ram i will say yes you you can update your phone and it will run very well i think so you will get some of the access of the apps and other things and store is working fine so the store and you can install apps from the store in windows 8.1 you will not get the chance to uh, uh, open the store actually so store doesn't work on windows 8.1 also in first build and second build of windows 10 you will the store app will not work until if until you update it to the latest build then it will work so let's uh, show you the store is working so connect with wi-fi it's uh, the phone is really slow i saw the ram because of the ram actually maybe because it has 512 gig of ram and the windows is really bulky you can see that this is uh, the store is actually the real windows 10 version store is they port it to the windows phone actually so it's really bulky and it's still it, you can use and download apps for your phone many apps even tiktok also work uh, so if you are a tiktok lover you can install it but i hate tiktok so i don't use and you can download many apps so uh, and anything like a battery backup is okay and 
sound, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything is working just fine and there is no issue with the ROM but the problem is that if your phone is not capable like if you have the processor is not that good and your RAM is not that much so it will struggle to run Windows 10 so and if I I've, let me show you the camera camera is still working actually so it's not working like the original Nokia camera is just it's laggy a little bit but it's working that's the thing and that's it for the video and the review of, of this Lumia 625 Windows 10. If you don't understand anything, you can check uh, the PDF file inside the file I have given. You, you will find there everything, every issue will be solved. And I have mentioned about one keyboard problem. So they, the, they, they have mentioned that some people having some keyboard issue after installing Windows 10 on their devices. but. I didn't uh, get that uh, problem so I didn't make the video so my keyboard is working fine as you can see here I can do everything so I haven't uh, done the video that one because I don't, don't have issue so that's it for today so if you like this video please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching